everybody, I'm Brian. I'm back with ServoCity.com showing you a new cool product today. What we have here is a 785 channel slider. Now we've been getting a ton of requests through our R&D and uh, tech emails about how to build a slider utilizing a 785 servo. So after answering many, many questions, we thought, you know what, we might as well just come out with a kit, which is exactly what we've done here. So as you can see at the heart of everything, we've actually got a 24 inch piece of channel. We've got our uh, Delrin slider, a Delrin and or acetyl slider mechanism here. And of course, a 785 servo. Also hooked up to this, I've got our new servo controller, which uh, that you'll see that in a further video. So anyway, jump right into it here. We offer our, we utilize our 15 tooth pulley as well as our tensioner system down here, which you can actually tension the belt up. So, and of course you've got two ways to actually mount other components on here. You can either mount it on the top and or the side. And of course, everybody, uh, hopefully you've seen on our site where we offer different sliders as well. We can go all completely around the channel or just on the top. So those are interchangeable. But in this kit, we offer the uh, two-sided uh, unit as well. So, but anyway, I'll demonstrate kind of what it can do. Now this servo controller here will allow you to actually overrun a 75, so you can actually get up to eight, eight rotations or a little bit further uh, amount of rotations. As you can see, cool thing about the 785 is that it's still a closed loop servo, so you can set all the endpoints, move extremely accurate, very slow. And of course you can hook this up to any motor, con excuse me, servo controller, whether it's through PC based or standalone. Um, or Arduino or Raspberry Pi or whatever you want to control it. So, but the system is really powerful. Also, uh, that 785 puts out you know 180 to almost 200 inch ounces of the torque. Well, so what can you do with something like this? Well, let's say you're building a robot where you want something to come out of the the box or the case. You can actually take another 24 inch piece of channel, bolt it directly here. You can have something rise out of the top drop back in. You can also build some XY tables. You can come in here, take two of these systems, bolt one to another. All of a sudden you can build your own kind of XY type table as well. So, but if you have any questions about it, be sure to email tech at Servo City. And once again, as I always say, thanks again for watching. We really appreciate uh, watching all of our videos and be sure to subscribe. And if you like this video, please hit the like button down below. Take care. We'll see you again soon.